Hi and welcome to the video training of JavaScript. In today's video tutorial, we will be looking at and learning hash maps in JavaScript. So what are hash maps? Hash maps are organized as linked lists, so the order of its element is maintained, which allows the hash map to be iterable. Also, unlike key value pairs stored in an object, the number of items in a hash map can be determined by the size property. Note that one of the primary pitfalls to be aware of when it comes to hash maps in JavaScript is that they cannot be directly translated to JSON. Using the JavaScript hash map object, map declaration and initialization. So let's look at the first example that we are going to see. We are going to create an empty hash map. So just create hash maps dot html here i have the script tag and i'm going to declare the first hash map equals this one is an empty hash map so new map then we have the second hash map Okay, now we are going to declare the second hash map which have some values in it. So it is one first, two second, and fifth equal. Sorry, this one is the first. Then we have. second and the last one is fifth so if we save this file and console dot log first hash map and then the second hash map we save it and if we run this file in the browser to see the results javascript hash map hash maps dot html so if i open it open the console you can see we have two maps one is empty the size is zero and the second one has three elements map three first second and fifth and here you can see their results so this is the basic declaration and initialization of the hash map Useful method and properties. Hash map object has different methods and properties. One is size, it returns the elements in the hash map. Hash map dot key, it returns the value of the element of the given key. Hash map dot has checks to see if the hash map contains the key that is passed as an argument. Hash map dot set accepts two arguments and creates a new element to the hash map. Hashmap.delete deletes the key value pair that matches the key passed in an argument and hashmap.clear clears all elements from the hash map. So let's get the second element from the hash map. So if I type in here console.log second hash map and if I pass two I should get the string second this one. So if I save this file and refresh my browser, oh, change second map hash map is not defined. I think I I forgot to use get. So okay, sorry. So I get second as a string then we have if, if i want to check that second exists in hash map or not i can just simply say dot has two and if i run it it says true but if i type in 10 there is no 10 in this hash map it should return false so it returns false the hash function is very useful then i want to add a new property Oh, sorry, new record, uh, uh, new item in the hash map. So I use the set function of the hash map. 
so here you can see second hash map dot set three comma third and if I console dot log second hash map and refresh my browser now you can see we have the four items the one that I added in the last is at the end that is three third then I'm going to delete an element on five delete and I only need to pass the key I don't need to pass the value and let's console.log after deletion if I refresh you see before deletion I have four items and after deletion I have three items left so this is the delete function and the last one is clear if I clear the hash map here I don't need to pass any argument to the clear function and if I console.log the hash map again see we have four items then I deleted one then we, we are left with three and after the clear we have map zero so the clear function deleted all items in the hash map thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel tech weber if you search tech webers on youtube you will get my channel you can also contact me if you need any help. Thank you very much.